Hey, I, uh, when I came up to this hazelnut bush, I scared up a nice big doe, or possibly a buck. I think it was probably a doe being out here. But, uh, I think he's coming back now to see what I was doing. He was bedded down right over here in these little uh, cedar shrubs. And, uh, he probably got a little curious and came back to see, uh, see what I'm up to. He's probably upset that I stole all his food because these deer love the hazelnuts. I used to, I, uh, I hunt this area in the fall for deer, but I actually hunt in a uh, a little further away from here but this is where the I knew that this is where the deer came at night to feed and I I wasn't 100% sure what they fed on and I know now that uh, towards the middle of end of August it's all these hazelnuts they're coming in here for and uh, a lot of these trees you can see the branches are nibbled off where they it looks like they just gobbled the whole hazelnut up, but uh, I'm going to try and walk over around this bush and see if I can spot that deer. I can hear him walking, him or her, but uh, see if I can get a look. be kind of nice if he was a nice buck in velvet. I'd like to catch that on camera if possible. Oh. Well, you know what? It's not that deer at all. Although I'm pretty sure I heard him over here. But there's a bird over here scratching in the leaves. The way he was doing it made it sound just like a deer's footsteps coming towards me in the through the leaves though. That was kind of a trip. I usually don't make that mistake. I guess it's because the woods are so dry it amplifies the sound or something. I can usually tell the difference between a, a deer walking and a bird or a squirrel digging in the leaves. I'm not sure what this bird is doing though. He's making a... always like he's doing some kind of weird little dance or something. I got my sunglasses on so it's kind of hard to see in the woods there. Yeah, there's a few of them back in there. They must be getting some kind of grubs or something. Or leaf worms. I'm not sure. Oh well. That's kind of funny though. I came to this uh, hazelnut shrub right there. And uh, I had walked around it and picked a few hazelnuts before I started videotaping and uh, right here at the edge of this woods a uh, nice big deer jumped up I think it was a doe and it kind of ran off through the woods that way pretty close man that was less than uh, that was probably less than 10 yards away point blank <laughs> I jumped up a few back there by the swamp too. This area is just filled with deer, but there's a lot of pine and spruce and oak and hazelnuts and who knows what other type of vegetation for them to feed on. There's a big field back behind me, which I don't want to show because that would actually give away my location and you know, I don't want to post my 
specific location on the internet. I think it's quite possible somebody local could figure out where I'm at. And, you know, I'm not about sharing my spots, but when you post stuff on the internet, you gotta kinda be careful. And sure enough, you know, I don't know if it's just this year or what, but I've been finding these ground cherries like crazy. Here's another one, ground cherry. I think this, I think the Latin genus is Cilius or something like that. Starts with a P, P-S, P-S-Y something. But uh, I've been finding endless amounts of these ground cherries. These ones are kind of small and they don't have any fruit on them. But that was the other thing I wanted to come after today was the the ground cherries because I want to find out when they get ripe. I've been keeping track of them for, I don't know, a month or more. And every time I find them, they're still green in the husk. I'm trying to find out what around what time of the month or season they uh, ripen. But I seem to be finding them everywhere. I mean, there's at least five or ten of them right here. These ones are really small and they don't have any fruit on them. They might be... Maybe they're this year's or something. There's another really tiny one. But I'm going to keep an eye on these because they seem to be another plant that is quite abundant. <sighs> you know, I get the... Uh, I always come out to for a specific purpose, like today it was strictly to pick hazelnuts and since I'm still kind of new to these wild edibles, uh, a lot of them, I always end up getting distracted. I always find some new plant that I haven't found before or I find something in a place that I haven't found it before and I start getting off looking at that. And, I end up uh, not completing the uh, task at hand, which is picking hazelnuts. There's one that I there's one that I missed. Try to be careful pulling these off so I don't break the stems up too much. I don't know if you damage these trees too much, it can lead to disease, and that could spread from one tree to another. So you do want to at least show a little bit of caution. I'm going to put these in here and then I'm going to do like I've said three times now and head off and start picking these other hazelnuts and hopefully I won't get uh, distracted on something else. I'll talk to you later.